Tosca Brown this morning and we're promoting the shopping local. And we're uh, interviewing Toby who's opened a business recently here in Hamilton. Toby, how long have you been operating for now? Nearly two years? Oh, not quite that. Just under 12, just over 12 months. Just over 12 months. So you've had your first birthday. First birthday has been and gone and um, still nice and small but look, pushing forward. So tell me, how has the experience been of opening a business, a, a, a small business, getting it up and running? What have been the things that you've really enjoyed about it? Oh, just the, the community aspect of small town like Hamilton. To have everyone the support that you have this has been quite fantastic. So, really okay. Good. And what have been some of the challenges? Obviously, it's not easy. There, are, not. there um, are things that happen during the during the process that must be challenging. So yeah. tell us about some of the things that are that have been difficult about. Um, you know, get there, there are always the red tape hurdles to get over, and that's always been an issue um, and and a, the, a challenge going forward. Um, but um, you know, mainly just focusing on delivering you know, good, consistent products. That that's our challenge. You know, not looking at anyone else, just concentrating on what we do, and just focusing and trying to give everyone the best we can. And anything from a government perspective that we can do to help you? I mean, obviously cutting red tape is uh, high on our agenda, but yeah. obviously it's something we've got to do more of, because from what you're saying, there's still a lot there. There's, a, there's a, a huge, huge amount. I mean, especially in small towns like this, you know, small business should be really pushed. And I think sometimes it, it is, it's a, it's a real challenge. I mean, I'm quite a stubborn person, and if I wasn't so stubborn, we probably wouldn't have got open with the red tape we had to do. That's right. Like that's true. Yeah, it's it was really, it's really almost you know almost like it was a privilege for me to come here and try and open something in a building which was derelict. It was that was a big result when we first tried. But I mean, you know, it doesn't matter what else thinks. We push on. We'll, we'll do. What we do. So that that surprises me. That and it, it's a real indication of how much work we've still got to do. That it really it was felt like it was a it should be a privilege for you to be coming to do this, even though you're putting your hard earned out and your hours, your money. Yeah. Establishing a building, uh, a business, a derelict building. Yeah, it was, you know, this, this derelict being there for so long, and I think this thing was just, you know, this young guy, you know, so on, like, it was just, it was, it was quite frustrating. Right. Well, you've made a big difference to the Congratulations, and thank you for chatting to us today. We're promoting small business this month, it's uh, encouraging people to shop local, so well done. Thanks, Tim.